Uh, 3.0 BCA outside the, way, outside the waistband for a Glock 20. Yeah, X crazy aces, X. Um, yes, uh, the Glock 20 and the Glock 21. Obviously, the Glock 20 is a 10 millimeter. The Glock 21 is a 45 ACP. Um, I have a Glock 21 and I like shooting it. I like running the suppressor on it. Obviously, uh, subsonic ammo. And it's just... I love the Glock 21. Will we ever make a holster for it? We are a concealed carry type of company and that's our focus. And so it's gonna be very hard for us, you know, to make a holster. And But I get it, look, we'll make, we make one for a Glock 17. How many people run a Glock 17 concealed carry? A lot of people do, but most people don't. Most people don't run a Glock 20, a Glock 21 for concealed carry. So yeah, to answer that question, not anytime in the near future, but who knows? I mean, we may surprise you guys and say, look, man, we, we got one for the Glock 20 uh, or the Glock 21. Uh, you know, we make the P320 full size. Why? Because there's a lot of agencies that are starting to run that gun. And so we go by what the market asks. And if the market asks for, for a P320 full size, uh, like, um, you know, the Texas uh, DPS, or, or uh, DPS troopers, Texas troopers, state troopers, they run the P320 full size. And so, you know, we're making one for that because we do get orders for that, um, not from you, the consumer, but from uh, agencies. And so we'll see. I mean, the Glock 21, if enough agencies run it or, if, you know, somebody asks us for, you know, a huge order. Uh, and if it's something that, 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 does make sense at the time you know you may see one but as for now we don't have any plans man good question though what's up guys what's up i'm waving i don't even know if you guys are still with us my apologies any chance of adding clips to mag pouch instead of belt loops yeah you can so um that is from father vic 1218 you can definitely go to bravoconcealment.com look for the belt clips and then under the belt clip option when you choose them choose uh mag pouch and yes you can definitely put the belt clips on the mag pouch and you can go inside the waistband uh, on the mag pouches so you can definitely do that yeah go check out bravo concealment you can go inside the waistband with our mag pouches whether it's a single a double or even an ar mag pouch you want to go inside the waistband you can definitely do that with our belt clips go check it out and basically it's these belt clips it's actually the belt clip that comes with the torsion. I run it single belt clip config, so I take this one off. So it's the small belt clip. That small belt clip will fit on the mag pouches. And so uh, obviously with the torsion, you can take it off, but you only have one. Uh, so if you're okay running one belt clip on your mag pouch, you could probably pull it off. Uh, but we don't sell them single. We sell them in pairs. But go check them out. They're cheap, man. They're not expensive. Um, they're not cheap. They're well made. Uh, but uh, they're... they're, they're they're not expensive. They're, they're, um, um, they're very affordable. Go check them out at bravoconsumer.com. Turn your inside, your outside the waistband, uh, gun holster or mag pouch into an inside the waistband. You can definitely do that guys. Um, outside the waistband Glock 19 TLR seven. Is it almost out? Uh, I don't want to say it's almost out, but we are working on it. Uh, we're hoping that, you know, we're hoping that we get, a lot of these options done by Black Friday, Cyber Monday for two reasons. One, so that you guys can enjoy 3.0. Two, so that we can push them out fast and not fall back on our lead time. Our lead time right now is about three. To, we're getting close to three to five days. I know some orders take a little bit longer. Some sh ship out a lot sooner. Uh, but we're really trying to go in stock, guys. And if we could go in stock before Black Friday and Cyber Monday, you guys are going to be happy. Because not only are you going to be paying an awesome price for a gun holster, but you're going to get it right away and we may we may start offering um what we already do we offer two-day shipping the only problem with that is that it's the lead time and then once it once it's built and ready to ship then the two-day lead time kicks in so if you have to wait five days for it to ship out two-day lead time doesn't mean that you're gonna get in two days that's just shipping or not two-day lead time i'm sorry my apologies two-day shipping time doesn't mean you're gonna get it in two days that's just the shipping once it ships you're gonna get it within two days um but uh, if we go in stock, obviously that's going to have a lot more meaning to it and a lot more power because if things are shipping out the next day, then you will get it in two days, kind of like Amazon, right? So um, yeah, we're hoping that we get these uh, options in stock by then so that we can fulfill our orders and be a lot faster with them and you guys are happy and we're happy as well. So good question, man. Any thoughts with expanding outside of holsters and their accessories? Uh, oh... Riley, 
O'Reilly, O-R-L-Y. Uh, I don't know, be more specific. Uh, like... Yeah, we've thought about toying with stuff. Obviously, we're trying to get into retail. If we get into retail, then maybe we can start messing around with uh, AR products and stuff like that. Uh, we're certainly um, getting to a point where we're very capable of doing stuff like that. So, uh, but yeah, uh, th th you know, we think about that. But right now, we're just so laser focused on what we're doing right now. Um, you know... Uh, trying to be the jack of all trades and master of none. But yeah, if if the opportunity presents itself, yes, for sure. I mean, we thought about that. Again, we've thought about level twos and level threes. We've been thinking about that for a long time. But, you know, we're not going to jump the gun and make a move on something that's going to be subpar. You know, we're learning about injection molding. We're learning about polymers. We're learning about certain things uh, that we can apply to that level two, level three concept. And so once we get all that information and gather it, then we can start moving forward. Now, does that mean that that you just sit there until you're ready? No, man, you got to go out there and you got to start testing stuff and all that. But um, yeah, to answer your question, uh, yeah, we've thought about stuff like that. But and I don't even know if that's what you're talking about because your your question is so broad. But yeah, we we've thought about stuff like that. So outside the waistband holster for a Sig P365, it's flannel season. Yeah, we're working on that. The P365, we only offer it for inside the waistband, but that's another uh, gun holster uh, option that we're trying to get out. We're, we're, we're cutting metal for so many guns right now that uh, it's it's we're just excited. And, and uh, we're hoping that they come to fruition very, very, very soon. Or not that's maybe that's not the right word to say, but that uh, that uh, we get them in stock, <laughs> that we in stock them very, very soon so that you guys can enjoy them. But yes, the P365 outside the waistband holster is getting cut. It's getting done. A lot of people have been asking for that. I get it. You guys want to go outside the waistband. That's a really good inside the waistband uh, uh, gun. And uh, our torsion just makes it disappear. But yeah, I get it, man. I get it. Uh, any more questions, guys, ask away. 